Hi and welcome to the lesson on multiplying and dividing integers. This is one of the five activities within the operations module of Middle School Math HD for the iPad. First of all, let's look at some standard rules. Uh, Any time that we multiply a positive by a positive, like in 4 times 5, um, the product is, is also positive. Uh, anytime we multiply a, a mix, uh, a positive times a negative, or a negative times a positive, the product will be negative. So we can see that in the example, 7 times negative 3 equals negative 21, and negative 2 times 6 equals negative 12. And uh, the final rule is anytime we multiply a negative times a negative, uh, the product is positive. So we can see negative 9 times negative 8 equals positive 72. And that's probably the most confusing one for students. But we'll get into some details, uh, detailed examples. Uh, of why that's true. So first of all, let's look at 2 times 5 uh, equals 10, and I have some tokens that I'm going to use. I'm going to use uh, uh, red uh, for positive and blue for negative. And I just think of uh, red as hot and, and blue for cold. So let's go ahead and uh, look and, and, uh, and, and showcase what 2 times 5 equals 10 would look like using these counters. So um, maybe I could, I could think of it as an allowance that I get every week. Um, the tokens are equivalent to a dollar. Um, and that I, I'm given um, five tokens each week for two weeks, so I have two groups of five, uh, which equals ten. So uh, I don't think that's um, you know, too, too confusing, but um, it's a good place for us to start. And we can also exhibit this on a number line. Um, we have our, our caveman is a football player, uh, and uh, if he runs the ball uh, you, you know, for five yards um, on two consecutive runs, uh, he's, he's traveled a total of uh, ten yards. Next, let's look at uh, multiplying uh, 2 times a negative number uh, and why the product is negative. So uh, this is a bit more uh, of a challenge, I guess, to understand uh, conceptually. Um, but how we can understand this is, let's imagine that you, um, you, you get your allowance from your parents um, and that you've spent all, all the money that they've, they've given you for your allowance. And then you, you come back to uh, your mom and you ask her um, if she's willing to lend you um, five more dollars this week because you spent all your allowance money and there's something that you, you really would, would like to purchase. Uh, and she says, okay, I'll give you five more dollars, but um, I'm also going to give you um, five blue tokens. I'm going to give you these tokens because they're a reminder to you that you have debt. You owe me five dollars. So you go ahead and you spend your five dollars cash, but you're still carrying around these blue tokens in your pocket. You know, reminder that you know when I get five bucks, I owe my mom, my, my mom five bucks. And uh, a week goes by, and you're still lugging around these tokens, and, and uh, your mom gives you you know your allowance again, but you choose not to pay her back the money that you your. Um, but instead, you, you come back to her the next day and say, you know, mom, I need I need five more dollars uh, because I need to you know, buy something again. So she the same deal. Well, you already have five you know tokens in your pocket that you owe me money, and uh, we'll do this again. And you, know, you go ahead and you spend that five bucks, but she gives you another uh, five tokens to, to lug around, uh, and now you're, you're you have you know, five or ten, uh, ten negative uh, tokens in, in your in your pocket, uh, you know, symbolizing that you now owe your mom uh, ten dollars. So, um, it's a good way to think about it is, is debt, um, negative, to, you're, you're, you have negative ten dollars in, in your pocket, so um, spend your money wisely. Anyway, we can look at this on a football field as well, so if our caveman is, uh, is uh, positioned right there and the referee perhaps assesses him uh, two penalties, both five yards for offside, he can uh, well. He would reduce his uh, field position or back up on the field by uh, by uh, ten yards, so negative ten yards. So look, just looking at it two different ways with the counters and, and with the uh, the number line. Okay, let's look at the example negative two times negative five um, equaling ten, and and that's a really confusing idea for for many of us trying to figure out why two negatives. So when we multiply two negatives together, why the product is positive, and to, to show this, let's go back to that example of, of carrying around that debt in your pocket and having this being this position where you owe ten dollars, you're at negative ten dollars. And um, let's just uh, imagine that um, you know your mom does ten bucks and she sees you know, all the great stuff that you've been doing around the house and she decides, you know what, uh, little Joey, why don't you give me uh, five five of those tokens back because you've been such a, a great kid. So I'm going to forgive your debt. Um, and then you think, oh, jeez, you know, and you hand back your mom this, these five tokens, and you go outside and you decide to, to wash her car because, you know, you think, oh, jeez, maybe, maybe she'll forgive the rest of my debt. And sure enough, and she comes out and says, you know what, give me the other five tokens. Yeah, the debt is forgiven. Um, so really what she's done is uh, she's wiped away that $10. She's improved your situation from negative $10 to, to $0. Uh, so she's wiped away the debt, uh, so 
negative two, so twice she's she's given away this or she's erased this debt, uh, and the debt was negative five dollars. So she's actually improved your situation by ten bucks. Uh, we can look at this on a number line as well. And I don't know if this has ever really happened in the history of football, but um, just imagine a referee who's assessed two penalties for offsides, and and he's decided, you know, I got it wrong. You weren't offside at all, and the first time you weren't offside, and if you weren't off the offside the first time, you were you weren't offside the second time. So I'm going to cancel away your penalty. So it's really the same idea: is that you've advanced now on the field uh, by ten yards. We're not going to get as much detail with uh, dividing uh, integers as we did with multiplying. However, uh, let's quickly go through the rules, which are essentially the same. Uh, anytime uh, a positive is divided by a positive, the, the quotient will be positive. Uh, anytime um, positive uh, is divided by negative or a negative is divided by positive, uh, the quotient will be negative. And um, the negative divided by negative, um, similar to uh, what I just showed with the multiplication of integers, um, the result is positive. Anyway, uh, I hope you uh, learned a little bit from uh, this presentation and uh, have lots of fun with Middle School Math HD for the iPad. Thanks.